Bonjour tout le monde, I'm Christine English, born and now living in the south of France, the southwest, and I'm glad you're here. Thanks for coming. Since I started teaching and offering immersive homestays, I realised it was time to share who I really am. Now, I started learning French at the age of 11, like most children in the UK at that time in secondary school. And, but I was told I would not be able to learn French easily, and certainly not learn German, as I was not clever enough. However, I studied and qualified as a teacher of French, so I was the teacher by the time I was 20. I was the youngest teacher in the UK at the time. What do I love doing? Waking up here in France, up there. I am so grateful. Every day is exciting. I love walking and my lovely dog Leo here loves coming with me and I get up every day to take him out for a walk for an hour in the morning in the countryside. I like the fresh air, the view of the mountains, the wildlife and the peace. I'm away from distractions so I get to think properly. Favourite colour? Blue. Not any blue. This blue. Favourite animal? Dogs. Leo came into my life 11 years ago. He is the perfect companion. So back to the age of 20, I took an assistantship in the southwest of France for a year teaching English. And I knew, I just knew that one day I would have to live here. And it became my secret mission. It took me years, so 35 years to be exact, since I got promotions at work and family and studying for my masters, so I could teach others how to teach well. Ofsted, the UK inspectorate, judged me to be an outstanding teacher. And from there, I became a lead practitioner in my field. I also got to teach Spanish, since at the age of 40, I decided to take up studies and teach Spanish as well, that beautiful language. Have I ever taught anywhere else in the world? Yes. In those 35 years, I taught French and French literature in Canada, English in France, French in Kuwait, other teachers to teach well, and in Jordan, where I even learned how to get by in Arabic at the time. That was the seed of the real French method, as I knew I was talking straight away, whilst others were still stuck in the student mode in the classroom. I couldn't stay with my head in the textbook. Language is for meeting people and for talking and listening. And I also organised ski trips and exchanges for students to France or Spain. And I got used to being a host, a house host, by having students from all over the world come and stay with us to learn English at the time. The longest stayed for three years. It was lovely. I think that's where I got to understand just how hard it is when you are suddenly immersed in another country and have to communicate in your second language. It was the route, it was all the route to living here in France and starting up my business, Simply French Online. <laughs> Hi chickens. Every time I picked up another language, I found myself stepping outside the textbook. There was always a vital ingredient missing. The real French method was properly born. So I found this most amazing dilapidated country house in this quiet little village in the southwest of France and set about renovating it. My dream had come true. And it was amongst the spiders, yeah, and the junk and clearing out to make this house ready for immersive homestay visits. Don't worry, the house is coming on a treat now and I'm trying to keep the authentic country feel, but without the spiders. It became my turn to give back to the world. And although the house will never be fully finished, it's a forever project. I just know that I am where my heart is. I open the window and I look out onto the Pyrenees and I have the freedom to decide if I want to go and spend a day cycling or skiing or walking in beautiful places. So combining immersion programs, private lessons, and conversation classes, I found my niche, and now I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky to be able to share my passion for learning French with like-minded people from all over the world. So if you're still watching, <laughs> that's you. Now, every day I, I really do seriously wake up really happy. I see others progressing in their, in their French speaking, and I'm constantly working out how it can be even better. Biggest achievement in life? Running the Dead to Red Sea Relay Race in Jordan the other year. It's a year's training for a team that runs through the night in turn for 242 kilometers. It will remain a major event for me, not because I crossed the line, but because of the lasting friendships I made 
as we all committed to training together throughout the year. I learnt more about myself and others than any studies could ever have provided. This stuff doesn't come from books. And what else do I do in my downtime? Well, I can work flexible hours, so when the weather is just right, I can go out for a bike ride. I love the freedom and the fact that there's so much to discover here. I don't do downtime. I love my teaching and I'm always on the go. I'm always doing something. I renovate the house, I grow my own vegetables and I learn all the French country living skills from my neighbours here who are rapidly becoming well-established friends now. And lucky me, I have a beautiful family who support me totally. I'm the youngest of five children, I'm married and I've had a few children of my own and they're good at keeping my feet properly established on the ground. So after travelling and teaching in many parts of the world, I have finally settled in the heart of the French countryside, away from the demands of the city, the stress of establishment working, and enjoy the peace and tranquility. So I hope you get a little insight there. It's just me, a happy bunny, living and sharing the love of French life and French learning. I'll be doing it forever as it's just what I love. If you know anyone who would love to meet me, then please don't forget to like and share this video. Who knows? They might just be looking for that one person to help them speak French confidently. You can also find me on LinkedIn, Instagram and Facebook if you want to find out more. Et merci, à plus. Weave.